What's up? Peace fam. Hey, it's Bill I Tim. Come with you live if I do our toast. I still can't find my glass, so we're going to use the blue glass. Um, didn't start brewing yet. I thought I was going to start last night. Didn't start. Start tonight. I still need to, matter of fact, I need to get my water bottles together. And, you know, we're going to get, we going to get busy. Sitting up here looking at tax shit, you know. Early in the morning, taxes and shit. You know, I'm owing money. You know, government don't play about that money. They play about everything else. They don't be playing about that money, right? It, you know, they could let you know when you owe, when you owe uh, fifty cent and shit. You know, but they can't. You know, they can't get it right when it comes to your rights and shit, right? So I owe the state. I owe the feds. Whatever the fuck, whatever, 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 right? So we're going to start it off. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. All right. So right now we're going through some changes. I have to kind of, I'm trying to work on my format. It's a great Ujima. Shouts out to Brother Kwame and Brother Shaka. Good Ujima fam. This is uh, Brother Kwame. Don't forget to check into the Young Brothers Helping out at the Marcus Garvey celebration. I checked into it yesterday. Um, by the way, for those that don't know, we got a Marcus Garvey celebration going down this Kaumba. Uh Post a date up, our brother Kwame. is going to be at the African American um, Extension Center, OSU. So, it's going down, man. It is going down. Uh, we celebrating one of the greats, Marcus Garvey. Maybe that what I might do need to do one of my um, my 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 discussion on today. I've been cutting back on the discussions. Um, one of the reasons one of the reasons I have to I have to get with my team and and and, and see about reformatting um, the discussion. I'm not gonna change the toast because I, I honestly believe the toast is important. Kuumba, August 19th from 2 to 5 p.m. over at the African American Extension Center, um, OSU Extension Center over on Mount Vernon. Uh, Marcus Mosiah Garvey. A celebration. Great and powerful man, right? Great organizer, right? Uh, somebody <coughs> that we could really really use on a on, on, in times like this right but you know what's crazy if marcus garvey was alive today you know what i'm saying he'd probably be going through some of the same struggles that we as organizers some of us as organizing today was going through same thing with malcolm max same thing with martin luther king we're dealing with a whole different people um and uh in 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 I'm almost going to say a different situation. I mean, even though it looks the same, it's a different situation because the mindset that we are in is different than when Marcus Garvey was doing his thing or when Malcolm X was doing his thing because um, a lot of our ancestors were truly in the struggle. But as I tell y'all all all the time, I had to get a new light, right? I got a light so that... uh, it wouldn't be as dark, but this damn thing is bright. I'm like, God, I can't even, Lord have mercy. Burning a hole in my retina. Damn. But at least y'all can see me a little bit better. You know, shit, I thought the light would make me, God, damn. All right, I gotta, I gotta figure this thing out. Woo. All right, um, God, damn. It's not hot, but it's bright as hell. All right. But you know, we it's almost as if we have turned into a different people, fam. Alright? I mean it's it's incredible, right? A lot of people during Marcus Garvey time, since we moving into Marcus Garvey's uh what's the day? If the day is the eight, I think he was born on the eighteenth. Let's see. You know, Google Google is kind of handy, y'all. You know, you know. If you don't use it, I ain't gonna say shame on you, but damn, you know. So let's look up Marcus Garvey's birthday.
August 17th, today is Marcus Garvey's birthday. Right? Happy birthday, Marcus. Throw up them hashtags, yo fam. Everybody that's on the line, throw up. Happy birthday, Marcus Garvey. Man, um, throw up those hashtags. We live in a time when people have the luxury of choosing their disadvantage. That's right. We have luxury, goddammit. I mean, it ain't just luxury or disadvantage. It's luxury. Um, far as America, right? We, we and our children are so removed from some of the struggles of our ancestors, right? Because we can look at what's going on on TV and be in the comfort of our own home. You know what I'm saying? Black folks now, shit. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I, come on now. I mean, we are so far removed from any type of struggle. You know what I'm saying? And I know, well, brother, I tell him, what about all the murders, the police murdering? You know what I'm saying? That shit has been going on, right? And it's like, it's like, it's not even shocking to us no more at all, right? So when it happens, you know what I'm saying? It happens. I mean, really, this is this this, this is the attitude that you run into when you're talking to people about it. It happened, okay, all right, I'm upset, boom, boom, boom. And we see how black folks do. We see how our people do, and I love us, right? We all. Oh. It's a beautiful, you know what I'm saying? When somebody pass away, we get the shirts. We be hyped. We want to start a fund for the kids. Two weeks later, you know, don't remember the dude's middle name no more. We living in a different time, family. So um, we have to bow to Facebook that knowledge, sir. <laughs> or, yo, hashtag Marcus Garvey. Today is Marcus Garvey's day, right? So, you know, um, he ain't one of my personal ancestors, but he is a universal ancestor. So, shots out to brother Marcus Garvey. You, you and I was nothing more than a horizontal business model of business and sustaining and to that sustain a community. Well, it was a little because uh, don't the business model was important but the other aspect that marcus garvey had going on was that he had the whole religious piece and he had the um the in a sense the black consciousness piece see because business is cool right but i don't want us to get so caught up into business because y'all hear me talk about all the time entrepreneurship is a boom 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 eat like a boss you know what i'm saying like i've been eating like a boss for the last two days i've been able to go get them pull my lunch up off a of guard and eat that shit raw. You know what I'm saying? Eat it raw, steam it right there where I'm at need it. And business is important, but business without consciousness is nothing. Business without culture is nothing. Business without culture feeds into the capitalistic system that is oppressing us right now, right? And it ain't even just capitalism because we could be you could be conscious and or unconscious and doing business in any type of system that and, and and be pulling away from your culture. For me, I honestly believe that the strongest piece that Marcus Garvey brought was a cultural a cult a cultural awareness, right? He brought a, 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 a cultural appropriateness. It's certain. It's certain. How can I say it? it? Is is appropriate ways in which you act in your culture, economically, politically, socially. You know what I'm saying? When any when when that whole cultural appropriateness piece start falling off, we got we got men running around um, fighting women. We got women um, um, fighting men. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, totally culturally inappropriate. You know those two those two things shouldn't be happening. I'm talking about the whole physical fight. We of course we may have arguments, we may have disagreement, but the whole physical aspect of that shit is unbalanced we got kids doing what they doing right we we uh, um we bringing up our children totally culturally inappropriately right uh, no connection to the culture whatsoever right it's beautiful that we are um, in america and i would say that we are americans but we have to always remember our culture the culture we come from right and our culture is much older than our experience in america and we need to be able to take some of the old, right? And 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 if there's any improvements to be made, we need to be able to add those. But they need to add towards moving us 
towards our cultural destiny. Always check oneself when regulating something to nothing more than economics. Is that is that the end statement? Yeah, because uh, you know economics is economics is about the uh, resources. Economics is about the flow, controlling the flow, or being able to predict the flow of resources. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, cultural economics, right? We got to always, everything we do, we got to do it with a cultural bent. Why? Because culture, culture, um, cultures, culture elevates a people, or at least it's supposed to. Now, if, if the culture was born within the people, for the people, by the people, when it comes out of the people, it's about survival. But if the culture was pressed on the people, right, like we see here right now, right, uh, the people become suicidal, right? They commit economic suicide. They commit political suicide. You know what I'm saying? They 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 commit uh, uh, educational suicide, right? We see this happening right now, today, right? Suicide. You know what I'm saying? It's like, boom, I, you know, boom, I, I don't know enough. I'm just going to turn myself over. Let me throw myself on the railroad tracks of this education system. Let me, let me, let me throw myself on the tracks of this political system. You know, I'm, I'm, we got to change the system from within. And, and you know, all this, you know what I'm saying? Rather than building um, our own and holding those that, that are responsible to us, holding, you know, them and making sure that they pay us back for what they owe our ancestors, right? You know what I'm saying? Because we can't be under illusions that, well, actually, shit, yeah, they owe our ancestors, they owe us, right? And a lot of us, we like, you know, boom, I'm cool with where I'm at, blah, 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 blah. And we get what we get, right? Right, you know, so now we fighting over a statue over uh, Robert E. Lee or whatever that motherfucker's name is, right? I mean, really. I mean, realistic. Let's just think about it. We we fight know that, but yet some of y'all drive across the George Washington Bridge, or some of y'all going to these universities that's named after motherfucking slave masters, or um, um, some of the state buildings are named after some of the most racist motherfuckers that have ever walked the face of this planet, right? You know what I'm saying? We celebrate holidays with motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That uh, uh, you know with that 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 were slave masters or that. Or that was 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 okay with slavery, right? You know what I'm saying? Every day. You know what I'm saying? We got this shit going on. Every day. You know what I'm saying? The Robert E. Lee statue is just a big sore in, on a body that is full of sores. Right? And, you know, and I'm like I said, I, I salute the people that was down there and uh and, and and that that stood up for what they believed in, right? But I'm like, yo fam, yo there's a whole lot of other shit, right? Because we've been letting people get away with all types of shit. And I'm just wondering, because this is this was boggling my mind. I don't know if, if it has totally changed, but I don't remember motherfuckers being this bold when I was young. I really, I really don't remember motherfuckers just being this bold about, you know what I'm saying? And, and then also, family, let me say this. Hold on, Brother Shaka says, they owe my children what they haven't taken and they will pay in this lifetime. And that's, see, and that's the attitude that, that we have to have, right? Because the, the whole piece is, the whole piece is, until, until, uh, reparations, which basically means repair happens, right? Until repair happens, um, uh, um, uh, 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 individualized repair, right? Um, specific towards African people. African people born in America. So that means some of y'all that are, you know, Moors or maybe Hebrews or, or you know, that or that been here for the last thousand years and arguing with Native Americans about who was first, y'all can't get none of that money. Those of us who are descendants of the captives and shit, you know what I'm saying? Those of us that could prove that we're descendants of captives, give me my goddamn money. Right? You know what I'm saying? Give me the resources that I need. Hell, give me 
give me a, a 200 year tax free. Me and my family, give us 200 years tax free uh, something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's so many creative ways. All these, see, and this is what, this is what boggles my mind. America is brilliant. They come up with all, we come up with all types of brilliant shit except how to pay back the people that helped build this motherfucker. The people who's back. This this whole motherfucker sitting on. We come up with all types of crew. We come up with with self driving cars. We got technology where I could talk to my brothers early in the motherfucking morning. Um, uh, we come up with all types of new types of liquor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, the, you know these motherfuckers. They got individualized crispers that they could send out where you could splice jeans and shit in your house. Um, yeah, you know, um, we got, you got shit that you can sp spray on stains and the stains disappear, but these motherfuckers can't make, um, you know what I'm saying? They can't come up with a creative way in how to deal with, with, with the people who everybody in the world knows have been done wrong. Hold on. Let me go back. Uh, brother Kwame. Brother Kwame says, different combatants at different battles is what we have and what we need. Can make, uh, Calvin, he said, they can make shit smell like peppermint. I had a, a, a mediation with the prosecutor in Franklin County. I recorded the conversation. No delusion of power is broken and they are terrified. They should be. I would like to hear that. I would like to hear that conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because it do. Because family, I'm just like consciousness is spreading, right? You know, what I mean, like we sitting here toasting. There's other people out there doing other things. You know what I'm saying? And this whole social media piece is laying it out for us, right? You know what I'm saying? It's, this is a weapon, right? This is a weapon that we could use. You know what I'm saying? But just like all weapons, it's it's, it's double edged. You know what I'm saying? It could cut both ways. You know what I'm saying? So we got to really be careful. We all got to be really mindful about how we use these weapons. And um, as Brother Kwame said, he said something about different combatants. Different combatants at different battles is what we have and what we need. Right? We find a different type of war. Right? You know what I'm saying? We're in a different type of struggle. And we need to make sure that we are at least equipping um, our young people with the knowledge we need to do what no more did with us. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, what Dr. Kelsey did with us. We need to do um, basically what our elders put in us. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and make the impact so that we can make sure that not only the struggle, the struggle is remembered, but also that we're making progress in the direction. You know what I'm saying? Because every day that, that we wake up is another day of progress. Especially if you out doing incredible shit. Right? You know what I'm saying? Every day you need to wake up and do some incredible shit. You know what I'm saying? Because our power is in the moment. If you're waiting for the future, that shit is not coming. Right? If you're crying over the past, the past, that shit is gone. The only thing you have is the present. That's why in the libations... We pour to the present to wake your ass up and remind you that you are supposed to be doing something amazing, something spectacular, something fabulous, something marvelous, right? You know what I'm saying? Every day, you know what I'm saying? Every day you need to be doing something spectacular, family. You know what I'm saying? If not, you waste wasting space, right? So let's get this water. I'm going to get my water on, man. I'm I'm not doing one. I'm not doing my YouTube show today. I'm gonna post this up on YouTube, but I'm not doing my new YouTube show until I get some clarity on what direction I'm going. Um, right now, we on Marcus Garvey's birthday. Let me see. One, two, three, four. We are four days out from the eclipse. Five. So one, two. Fast. One, two. All right, so I think my fast will start tomorrow. That'll be one, two, three, four, five. That'll be a total of five days. I will build up to absolutely nothing. The peak of the fast will be on uh, 20, 
because those that have been checking me out, you know, we fast like a pyramid now. I'm no longer, I'm no longer free balling when I'm fasting no more because that shit almost killed me. Um, so we fasting like a pyramid. You know what I'm saying? Juice, ambrosia, water, ambrosia, water, nothing, water, water, ambrosia, water, ambrosia, juice, back to solid food. Because I'm not, I'm telling you, family, the way I broke my fast last time, y'all see I'm gaining weight, right? Because I've been eating like a mug. But listen, let me tell you something. It's very important that you break your fast properly. Let me tell you why, right? Because if you don't, there will be pain and suffering. Let me tell you, every time your body gets ready to just let something out, right? It's pain and suffering. So, I learned my lesson. I'm able to share that lesson with other people, right? So we're going to drink our water uh, on this great Ujima day. As a matter of fact, brother brought up uh, economics. Today is the day of cooperative economics. Um, this uh, The meiotic principle today is reciprocity. Um, the M7 today, or the M7 principle for, for the school where, I, where, I'm, where I'm currently having my adventures at, is gratitude. Um, the hermetic law today is polarity. Um, if you was born on Ujima as a male, your day name is Yao. Your female name is Yao. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, Wolof, the Wolof term that we're going to be looking up with a principle or whatever it is, is your manda. Compassion for those less fortunate than yourself. Mm. Mm. Now, I want to reflect on that one, right? All right, um, because we spoke about Marcus Aurelius, where Marcus Aurelius did all of this about learning to love other people and respecting others and not dissing nobody. And the highest form of this happens in this state. And you know what I'm saying? Because family, all that shit starts at home. Our problem is we love, we love from the inside out. My fault, from the outside in, right? So we're showing love to everybody else. And then by the time we get back to us, we have so little love left that, you know, you step on my shoe, we got a problem, right? We need to start loving from the inside out rather from the outside in, right? So, you know. We got to show a little bit more, and I'm and I'm not I'm not just talking to y'all. I'm talking to me too. We got to show a little bit more patience for those that are directly around us. We got to, we got to, uh, as Brother Wakasa would say, uh, uh, the being um, uplift their being, right? Got to uplift their being every day, right? We got to celebrate their being. Right, we gotta, we got when they're doing good, when they're doing is good, we got to, we got to throw that positive on them because it's kind of hard with those that's close to us. But, you know, um, you know, it's easy to do it with strangers and shit, but you know, when it comes to those people close to us, we expect them to be at a certain level or something. I don't know what that. Maybe that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just me. But you know, we gotta practice that, right? Um, um, one word that he used was negating being the other word is uh, Hey, hey, where are my worksheets? Alright, here we go Alright Let's get to it, family I know y'all like Brother Hatem, pour them damn libations It is praise being praise, you know what I'm saying? We got the those those people close to us, and we got to praise the beings of those people around us, family. You know what I'm saying? Because the 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 whole the whole the whole struggle would be for not if if our children come up messed up, 
that those around us come up messed up, right? We're not only we're not only at war with with external circumstances, family. We 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 have to be in the builder mode. We have to be in the healer mode. We got to be in. You know what I'm saying? We got to do all those stuff at the same time. That's why I kind of. That's why. That's why we big big up in Brother Wakasa and his warrior heal, healer and builder workshop. Right? We got to be all three of them. We got to heal those closest to us because it don't do no good to to raise children in 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 a war state. You know what I'm saying? They got to be able to deal with shit when 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 peace is made. Somebody got to be able to deal with it. Right? So if you're constantly in a war mind state, right? You know what I'm saying? So we got to make sure we're building our children up. And we're teaching our children how to be able to deal in peace when peace comes. They have to be able to be that warrior, but when peace and healing is needed, they're able to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or we might just need to kind of separate our, our children from the struggle, let them see us doing it, and we go to war. So just in case, just in case, our generation is the one to pull that shit off. Our children can actually come up in it and prosper, right? I don't know. So the day is that um, compassion. Um, one, two, three, four. Compassion for those less fortunate than yourself. Yeah, have compassion. But once again, do it like everybody else. Start with compassion for your own first. Start with compassion for yourself and start working your way out, right, from yourself. To, to your children and your spouse, to your immediate family, right? You know, work that shit outward from, from inward outward, right? Rather than because we start with compassion as a people with everybody, you know what I'm saying? We start on the peripheries, right? So we compassionate with West Asians. We forgiving with West Asians, right? It's, a, it's incredible to me how quickly we can forgive out motherfuckers outside, you know what I'm saying, but then be mad at motherfuckers in our family for about 50 years, that shit don't make no sense, um, Brother Shaka says, I find myself re-entering into my child's life who has been raised to hate me, come on, well, is that it, oh, dude, yeah, but, I mean, one of the things that we got is, dude, one of the incredible things is when people start seeing the effects that you have on other people around them, right? It's only, it's like, it's like, our work speaks for itself, man, right? Somebody could raise somebody, to, I mean, totally dislike us or, or whatever, right? But, our work and what we do and the contributions that we have made and the people that they will see around us and the people they will see interacting with us, right? Will always make them have to question what they was raised with. I know your character. So do hundreds, maybe thousands of other people around you. And the thing that we have to have trust in is the fact that we have put in enough work that people will start. People around us, especially people that need to see the real us, will see that. And then, then they will be able to step back and make their own choices. When I was a child, I thought as a child. How does a child think? A child thinks in the way that the adults around them teach them to think. But just like you, at some point in time, you had to make a break off from your parents. Your daughter getting to a point where she gonna make a break off from her race, her her parent, or those who raised her, and she's gonna make a critical decision, right? All you gotta do is be consistently being you. All you gotta do is consistently be doing the work. All you gotta do is be consistently reaching out, right? Dude, family, I mean, like I said, our character speaks for itself. We come from a great people, and we have been building great people for years. You know, and what's crazy is some of the young people that that we run into, right, or, or that we used to run into are the young people that's working with our children now, right? Oh, man, how many people should have ran into that know you? Now, you don't know. You don't know. But, hey, your 
your passion, your commitment, your love will shine through. Right? So just be patient and, and allow her to go through her go through her discovery. Because that's what she she has to discover you. Right? You something that has been in a sense, she's been told that really don't exist, that really don't want. So, so of course, she's supposed to come into a situation like, ah, uh, you know, with kid gloves, keeping you at a distance, right? Um, Brother Kwame says, a child I thought and spake and behaved as a child. As a man, I put childish things behind me. My grandma, favorite biblical saying, and always applying it to me. Miss old grandma, family, listen. And that's why we pour these libations, right? So that we can, you know what I'm saying? Let them know we appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, dude. My life changed when my grandmother passed away. And I know people are like, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to change. Yeah, but the one piece that I really missed was my grandmother's prayers. Right? I mean, it's, you know, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not a Christian. Right? But I do understand that there's something about an older woman that loves you and her connection with the spirit. Now, my grandfather, yeah, he had a connection, but there's nothing like a black woman, um, an older black woman's connection with the spirit. You understand what I'm saying? <sighs> family? Family, I honestly believe that if my grandmother would have lived long enough, I would have made it through that motherfucking uh, 2008 crisis and shit. You know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying? It's like you know, it's it's like yo, the the prayer stopped. You know what I'm saying? So did the real estate deals and shit. You know what I'm saying? So did you know what I'm saying? So the the piece is we kind of neglect this. This is another reason why when they talk about being compassionate for those less fortunate than ourselves and stuff like that, we we forget about the compassion for those people that's closest to us and we forget about the spiritual power of those or we overlook the spiritual power because we're so close to it right uh, we as as, as as a people man we have been overlooking some incredible incredible uh spiritual powers that our elders hold right incredible spiritual you know what I'm saying? I mean, some of us have, have basically witnessed miracles. And we just act like the shit is just every... I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's, it's just... I mean, you. I mean, it's like, how the fuck... See, come on. I, I, listen. Right now, we have this uprising. Oh, this is what I want to say. We got this uprise with this term. You're hearing it on the radio. You're hearing it on the TV. And it's these white supremacists and shit. Start attacking that word and this is what i mean by attacking that word right don't ever ever allow our competitors our enemies or how the fuck you want to look at it confuse you or your children with this concept of white supremacy right now what we are battling it's not those poor white folks that was down there um, fighting for Robert E. Lee. Those was poor white folks. Most of them probably um, one paycheck away from uh, 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 being broke, similar to you. No, not quite similar to you. You know, they, they got a little bit more, you know, sustainable. They're able to get a little bit more sustainable than your ass, right? Because of the situation that we, we historically have come out of which a lot of us want to deny and we want to act like we're balling and shit when in fact we need to be pinching pennies and shit, right? Because we are at an economic disadvantage. We are at a political disadvantage. We are at a social disadvantage because we spend more time in captivity than out. We spend more time in, in forced, uh, forced labor than out. Right? A lot of us forget that shit, you know what I'm saying? So we come out, we ball, and we make a little bit of money all of a sudden, you know, it's, you know, happy days are here again, you crazy and shit. But they're com trying to confuse you and get you to believe that this whole concept of, uh, I don't even like using the term, right? 
you know, um, I try not to even say the term, but it's it's everywhere now. White, boom, boom, you know, white inferiority, right? You know, they don't want to say what the fuck it really is. But anyway, they try to get you to believe that the system that's running this world is represented by these poor white folks. And when I say poor, I'm not talking about um, 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 feeling sorry for them. I'm talking about economically poor white folks down here fighting with economically poor black folks, right? And economically poor others. These motherfuckers down here that's all fighting is in rep is representing the the structure that is shaping your very life. Right. They represent the system that controls the politics. They represent the system that controls the economics. They represent the system that controls the economics. They represent the system that controls the prisons. They rep you know what I'm saying? Come on, family. I mean, let's be bigger than that. And you and everywhere I look, I keep on hearing this. You know, by, you know, Donald, you know, boom, Donald Trump and this the, the, the white inferiority and the, you know, y'all can y'all can flip it around. But I, I have to I have to say this shit because, like I said, I'm training myself, right? I, I, and I'm training those of y'all that don't know that's around me because some of y'all know because some of y'all come in and listen later. So I don't, I don't want you to be falling for the mind fuck, right? Because as soon as you wake up in the morning, you turn on your radio, they're going to be talking about it, right? You know what I'm saying? Y'all just got to, we got to be clear. Them motherfuckers, them the motherfuckers, they represent white supremacy like you represent Wakanda. It's a fucking illusion. You know what I'm saying? Wakanda don't exist and the shit that they that that is not white supremacy, right? Let me or, or the idea of of, of 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 what's running this motherfucking world. Right? That's not it. So we got people screaming on TV and taking your focus off of what's what we really need to be watching. Well, we really, you know, you know, it's some, it's, it's some international shit that's going on, like, you know, cause like, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all following and seeing what's going on in Africa. I don't know, you know, maybe, and maybe we shouldn't be looking at that. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong for that shit, right? Are you looking at some of the the the, the economic moves that's being made, right? You know what I'm saying? Are you looking at some of the political moves that's being made? You know what I'm saying? We are allowing ourselves to be distracted. And focused on these 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 imposters, right? These imposters, right? While the real thing we, we're watching, we look. You're watching the left hand, while the right hand is stealing some more shit from you. Come on, man. Come on, family. Let's get let's get wild. Let's, let me drink my water. We're gonna do one glass. I'll drink the rest later. I did one glass. I'm gonna do three glasses off screen. All right, family. What I'm thinking about doing also for the morning libations is pulling out the phone and allowing people to call in. You know, fucking. You know, I ain't doing the show. I, I, I'm gonna eventually start doing the show in the evening again. I just, you know, I, I like. Uh, I was out cutting grass on uh, Coochie Track Lee, and by the time I got home, I was wore out. Didn't feel like doing the show. I probably won't do the show tonight. But I do have a speaker. I do have a tablet. I do have my phone. I'm thinking about uh, updating my webcam so I can start doing some quality shows. But let's let's talk about the shows on another time. But don't be fooled, family. Don't be fooled. Right, please don't be fooled by this. All right, um, we need to always be on guard. We need to always, always be on guard, family. All right, and it's like people say that the world they playing chess, and that's cool. They could play chess. Let me tell you what we play here, Giambi Journey. We play Mancala, right? 
So why are they moving chess pieces? We spin in circles around these motherfuckers, right? Because we're flowing with the universe, you know what I'm saying? The universe ain't moving in straight lines and moving back and, you know what I'm saying, ain't doing that shit. The universe is moving in cycles, just like the Mancala gang family, right? So by us learning to play Mancala, we get to learn how to think, how God thinks, how the creator thinks. We get back into our our thinking, which is systematic, constantly evolving and rising up. So if you ever play Mancala, you know what I'm talking about, right? Some people call it Wari. Go and check out the game, right? They keep on talking about the world is playing chess. Let them play chess. God plays Mancala. When we start learning how to play Mancala, we start learning how to think a little bit more, like who we come from, all right? So, yo, I want to first raise my glass to the creator by whatever name you choose, call that creator. Go and get your healthy drink. You know what I'm saying? We toast the creator by whatever name you choose, call that creator. We 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 ask that energy to be present with us and to bless us and to guide us in all its forms and all its beauties and all its uglinesses and all its joys and all its sadness. We ask the creator, the creator of all these things, to be with us in all that we think, say, and do. And we raise our glass and we say, I shame. Right now, we call on our personal ancestors, which for me is the most important aspect, right? We call on those individuals that made it possible for us to have life, that we were able to get life through and to live life because of. So we raise our glass to those individuals that have made their transition. We remember them and we uplift them on a daily basis, right? So. We remember our grandmothers and our grandmothers' prayers. We remember our grandfathers and the work that our grandfathers put in. We remember the work of our mothers and our fathers that made their transition. We remember our aunts and our uncles that that that, that gave us wise words and sometimes checked us when we need to be checked and sometimes stepped in and act, acted as a parent because really when it came down to it, they were our parents. Because let me say this to y'all. Do y'all know in African tradition, we really didn't have... You know what I'm saying? We really didn't have aunts and uncles. We had mothers and fathers. I know that kind of fucks some of y'all up, right? I know, I know, right? We had mothers and fathers. Cousins. I mean, all this shit comes from a different culture. Mothers and fathers, cousins, aunts and um, Well, my fault. Aunts, uncles and aunts, cousins and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? We have brothers and sisters. Mothers, fathers. Right. So we toast all our mothers and fathers. We toast all our brothers and sisters. Right. We toast our children. Right. All those that made the transition. So I'm gonna call on my personal line. I ask you to call on your personal line. Right. So lift up your glass for your ancestors. I'm lifting up my glass for mine. Miles Brown, Mizan, Robert and Texana Davis, I'm Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Chris, and Fanny Gasson, I'm Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, uh, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, uh, Avaya Brown, um, my aunt, Barbara Twiggs, uh, Katie Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., my grand uncle, Herman the second. Um, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pittman M, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Terrell Dunbar, No More X, Sepet Ma Ra. Elder Donaldson, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon. Uh, Tony Clark. We lift up our glass, we say our shade. From there we move on to the present moment. We toast the now. Um, it's powerful. On this day, in a con, the con ethics for the day is patience and the Yoruba tradition. And they say the traditional Yoruba attribute good character. One, two, three, four is emoji mora. 
sensitivity, all right? So we know that the day is Ujima, and we know that all our greatness can only be had in the day. So we lift up our glass, and we toast We toast this moment, because in this moment is our power. Family, if you start a business, you don't start a business tomorrow. You start a business in the now. You know what I'm saying? Everything we do is in the now. We got to start realizing that shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, we need to energize it now and start using it now, the power of the now, right, to project ourselves into the future. Those that don't take a, don't take advantage of the now could never, ever take advantage. The now sets up all things that happen in the future. Right now, right now, you deciding not to get up and get out into the world and handle your business is affecting what you call your future. Right, so if you get up and you pick up the 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 game console or the game joystick and you start playing the game, nigga, you affecting your now. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm trying to get, you know, y'all know I struggle with things and shit. Right, so we salute the now. We say our shape. From there, we move to our children, our children's children, to affinity because we toast because our, 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 the, the future belongs to our children. So we lift up our glasses and we continue to work and we continue to struggle. We continue to build. Why? Because we want our children to have a better world. We want them to have more opportunities than we have, but we want them to be able to respect those opportunities. So we will live a principal life so that they will know how to, how to live and we will instruct them in the proper ways of living. So we lift up our glass, not let them be educated by our enemies. You know what I'm saying? We Some of us got to let them go to school, but they ain't got to be totally educated by your enemy, family. Lift up your glass. Everybody looking out for your best interest. And we say, I say, from there, I toast you, all right? Any problems, any issues, any things you want to celebrate, you can post them up. We'll look at it. I check my timeline. You know, it constantly rings. Let me know if people posting up. I see people watching or at least stopping in for a second. But I don't see people posting up shit. Family, this is this is a movement. I want to celebrate you as well. I want to toast you in and out. So allow me to toast you. So share some of your victories. Share some of the defeats. Share some of the issues that you want to toast. We call this the special libation, right? So we lift up our glass. I don't have any ambrosia, so right now when I'm drinking this Death Eater tea and some cinnamon, this shit is good. That cinnamon. That cinnamon, wow. I think I am going to have to make a blend with cinnamon for that ambrosia. I got just I just gotta figure out should I just do cinnamon by itself? Because that cinnamon, damn. Maybe I should have add cinnamon to death eater. What y'all think about that? Just throw a little bit of cinnamon in that death eater. Good God, cause this stuff is good. I think I'm thinking about throwing a couple of sticks of that cinnamon in there. You know what I'm saying? Because I got some Death Eater fans out there. I don't know how they could take to that. You know, because some people are very sensitive about their ambrosia. If I change ingredients just a little bit, they get mad. Oh, yeah. I use turmeric in my um, root. I got a um, I got a root ambrosia, right? Um, uh, so I got turmeric, ginger, sarsaparilla. Um, and a little bit of cinnamon in, and cinnamon in that one, but you know, turmeric is the turmeric and the ginger are are, are strong enough to kind of throw off the, the cinnamon. You don't cinnamon don't pop up, but I think the uh, dandelion root and burdock root um, are laid back enough and still able to have a major effect, but laid back enough for you to really be able to enjoy that that ginger that 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 ginger. I mean that. Uh, Cinnamon takes. All right, family. I'm about to let y'all go. I, of course, I don't think I'm going to do a, a show after this. Um, I'm still thinking about the format. If anybody out there got any ideas about how I should do the discussion after the uh, after we do the toast, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Give me some, you know, give me some ideas. You know, should I do once a week? Should I do uh, three times? I mean, or uh, do should I do a certain subject for a little while? Any ideas on how to do the discussion? 
after this for the YouTube piece because like I'm looking at my YouTube piece. I got over I got over a thousand videos. Shit, right? I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? That's kinda overkill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got I got look, I got more videos than fans. You know what I'm saying? I, I got matter of fact, I damn near got more videos than views. You know, that shit is not right. <laughs> But yo, fam, hey, I'm up, I'm out. Y'all have a great, magnificent, and powerful day, right? And I pray that, um, I pray that uh, these libations are, are helping you in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, part of the part of the whole conscious piece is remembering from where we from, who we from. You know what I'm saying? Not just from where we from, but who we from, right? Uh, being able to call on. The protection of your ancestors, being able to call on that wisdom. So, like uh, Brother Kwame said a while ago, remember being able to remember um, that favor. You might not be into the Bible, but being able to remember that verse that helped your grandparent do or great grandparent do. It was it was, it's, it's certain words that they use, certain things. That's their magic, and you need to be able to tap into that. Because, you know, we never know what type of times we're moving into, family. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to need the the, 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 the the fortitude that can only be provided for you through the people through, um, through the people you came here through. You understand? You know, um, because I, I, although today is Marcus Garvey's day, it's his birthday. Marcus Garvey was a great man. Right? I still ain't met nobody greater than my grandfather. I mean, y'all can salute Marcus Carl all you want. You know what I'm saying? My hero was my grandfather. You understand what I'm saying? My hero was people that was in my life. Like, you know, like Elder Normal. You know what I'm saying? I got to meet these people. You know what I'm saying? They might not wrote no big books, but they invested in me. That was, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know, and I, 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 I respect the work of Marcus Garvey, right? But I didn't know Marcus Garvey like I knew uh, Geneva, or I know Cleveland, or I know Nomo, or I knew Sepak, you know, I knew Tony Clark. You know what I'm saying? Individuals that took the time to 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 see something in me, even when it might not have been there yet. Brother Crowell said, God is doing what we should have been doing for a long time. And keep doing what you're doing, bro. Word. All right, fam. I'm up. I'm out. Um, you have a great Ujima. Be out, find it. You gonna be able to find it? Cause you, uh, it's it's out there. Our principles are out there, family. They're out there. They're they're working. It's out there. Look for it. You got to look for it. Train yourself to be able to see it. We've been trained to see the worst in us. Now I'm telling you, start training yourself to start seeing the best in us. To start to start going around and and being able to praise the being of not just individuals but us as a group. Right? Start looking for it. You're gonna start seeing it. Trust me. It's gonna be out there. It's out there. Cooperative economics. Where are we practicing that? You know what I'm saying? And it ain't just about money, alright? Some of us are pulling um um resources together, right? Whether it's social resources or, or, or whether it's uh, property or, I mean, um, whether it's, it's information that we're pooling together to produce something, family, it's, it's out there. So each of these days, I need you to focus and start looking for the principles, right? Not just saying it's Ujima and not looking for it, right? Like, for example, um, um, Uj Ujima was yesterday. Um, my brother needed some help in getting these fields ready. This is why I've been taking pictures on tractors and shit, right? Called his brothers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we've been working hard. We done made it. We we made it possible that during the middle of the day, we were able to get out and get on get on these goddamn tractors and get out here and mow this mow these mow these lawns that belong to the community, right? 
collective work and responsibility. Right? I could have been like, oh, this, that ain't part of my job. Hell no. No. Oh. It needs to be done. Community project. I'm able to get the time. Let's go knock this out. Collective work and responsibility. Not only me, but then I got no, I got two other brothers out there with me. We out here having having you know, having a good time or as good of the time you can have up under the sun. Like that, you know what I'm saying? But the point I'm trying to make is the principles are happening. And it might not at first you might not be the sin in your life. So sometimes you might have to look at some of the lives around you. Right? You might have to look at your children because our children automatically do some of this stuff. So start looking. And start and, and, and when you see it, call the principal. Wow, oh, that's that's Ujama. Oh, that's Nia. Right? And if you don't like those, I got other principles out here for you. There's other principles out here for you. Right? But we need to start recognizing our culture. See, because that's part of it. We are looking at our culture with alien eyes, and because we can't see it, we can't start using it. And culture is a people's magic. We pull on it to make things happen in the world. When you strip a people of their culture, you strip a people of their connection to the earth, you strip them you strip their connection to their magic. You strip their connection to their ashe. And I'm saying, family, it's time for us to get it's time for us to get reconnected, right? I ain't saying you got to be running around in in in, in, in loin cloths and and uh, um, kufis and and kite cloth and shit like that. What I'm saying is get reconnected to your culture, right? Get reconnected. And it's deeper than just the external shit. It's, it's more of an internal piece. And once the internal piece start happening, then the external pieces will start coming together. Because then we'll be making situations where it makes sense for us to put on Kente Cloth. It makes sense for us to have um, African guard because our culture will demand for those things to happen. And it will start making it happen because it got more of us working together. Right? Oh, man. I ain't even getting all into that. But I'm out, man. All right, fam. Y'all have a great day. This is Brother Art Tim with this exceedingly bright light. Let me show you how bright this damn light is. Y'all see that? Ah, damn, that's bright. I can't even look at that. I think I might have burnt a hole in my retina. But I did it all for y'all. All right? Burnt a hole in my retina for y'all. So when the enemy is creeping up on me, they might be able to get into one of my blind spots. Because you know they're coming. They're coming for us. All right? But like I told y'all, man, I'm good for a good two or three of them. And one of them can even have a flagpole. You know what I'm saying? I know how to handle that shit. Family, listen. Oh, by the way, look up on the internet. Right? Especially if you have ladies in your life. Look up on the internet. I've been, um, I've been going through this. It's called Get Tough, right? Look very corny, right? This is by a major W.E. Fairbairn, right? Now, I was reading a book called, I found out about this dude. I was reading a book called Natural Born Hero. And basically, this dude would come in during World War II. He came in and he taught people basic techniques to win fights right now it wasn't just so that you go into the octagon and roll around for 15 to 20 minutes and shit and fight. no no this is like i'm going to I'm, I'm a spy i need to get this information back you're standing in my way i'm going to take your life type shit right so um it's called Get Tough by Major W.E. Fairborn, right? And he got some basic techniques. And I remember in a lot of my in a lot of my uh, combat situations, right? In a lot of my fighting situations, some of this shit this shit works, right? 
So, and I'm saying, not only do you train yourself in it, but we need to start making sure that some of the ladies that are involved in our lives or that they are involved with our organization start learning some of this shit, right? And it's like, the book is less than 50 pages. It's less than 50 pages with incredible lessons that can help get your, get your help keep some of your people safe. Now, this ain't some shit that you just learn how to do and then go to and have bar fights. This shit right here, right, is the type of shit that when you're in a fucked up situation, if you are able to pull off one of these, you are going to escape, you know what I'm saying, intact. We need to start putting these classes together. We need to start learning. Oh, another piece, too, also, I'm about to take my test. Um, I got to do a test. I'm going to be able to do uh, workshops on the African heritage diet, right? So, I, you know, we, we building this, you know, I got, you know, I'm, I'm helping people right now. So I'm a little bit behind, but you know, all right, family, drink up your water. We already did the toast. I'm just saying peace because I'm not doing my, um, my, my lesson today. I'm just going to upload this to YouTube and be done with it. But like I said, if you have any ideas about what direction I need to take the discussions in, let me know. And I'm out. Thank you for tuning in. I want to send shots out to, of course, Brother Kwame, um, Brother Shaka. We had some other people. Uh, Brother Hazen stopped in. Um, but we got some other people that's been popping up. So I want to thank y'all, and we are out.